back. The Boston Marathon holds incredible stories of strength and perseverance. And more often than not, those stories lead to inspiration and change. You can see we have some guests with us today. <laughs> Joining us, Michael D. Donato, Kyle Brodeur, and his mom, Lisa. Thank you all for being here today. We really appreciate you joining us. You. And Michael, let's start with you. You've actually been involved with the marathon for years. Tell us how you got started in this. Uh, so I've been involved in the marathon by building running chairs to allow duo athletes to participate in it. So you built this chair? Uh, my company did, yes. What's behind this? How do you build the perfect racing chair? Oh my gosh, purpose? lots of trial and error, a lot of feedback originally from Dick and Rick Hoyt mm -hmm. because we built the chair for them as a favor. Mm -hmm. And he would come back and say, could you fix this? Could you do that? And we started doing that. And then I met Kyle and we built the chair for Kyle and I started running with him. So I was able to experience that as well and then it's like you know maybe we should change this and that and then right. and then people have come through our shop we've made some great partnerships with a lot of local local people that have um, that were involved in the bicycle industry in frame building and we came up with our latest design here his name's uh, Nick Sotar and uh, he came up with the blade and now we're we're able to ship these all over the world because this thing folds together and fits in a little box oh, and wow it's wow. awesome everywhere. looking too. It is so impressive and like you said you've used it firsthand so you know what works. Yeah. Uh, Lisa you and Kyle have a pretty, pretty incredible story. Tell us how you ended up meeting up with Michael. I was at a bike shop and um, I was actually just fixing a tire from a, a boy that comes visit us from Spain and, um, and I was asking about some rims for Kyle's wheelchair and Mike happened to be in the bike shop and he heard me um, speaking about Kyle and people asking me how he was doing from his surgeries and stuff and one thing led to another and I told him what happened about our crash and, um, and how Kyle was so athletic and then he just like was like wow well, I just built Rick Hoyt, a running chair. Could I build your son a chair? And I was like, what? Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't run. He's and like, he's... I can do you a lot better than just the, the chair, the, the wheels <laughs> for this. I can build you this. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be your first Boston. Man, you've run other marathons, but yes. this is your first one pushing someone. First uh, Boston ever for both of us. But we've done mm -hmm. other uh, long distance races, uh, Ironman and oh, half wow. marathons and marathons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Together. Eddie. Anything that you're looking forward to? Anything that you're really nervous about on Monday? Uh, I mean, you are logistics. down to the final days here. Yeah, the logistics. Um, you know, getting from the hotel, we're going to be together, and getting all the equipment to the start line. Once we get going, I think after the first mile, the butterflies are gone, and, yeah. and we'll be good to go. But it's just logistically getting to the start line. Yeah. That's, that's I, the I love that he's not worried about the race. It's, it's oh. just the logistics <laughs> yeah, yeah. of getting there, but he's not stressed at all about the 26 points. <laughs> uh, Lisa, what has it been like for you to have Michael be a part of your life and family uh, for over the last decade here? I mean, he, he's become a major part of her family, yes. clearly. Yes, it's been incredible. Yeah. Um, it's giving Kyle opportunities to have a sport again because Kyle was very athletic before the crash happened. And so to be able to see Kyle just to be out there and um, hey, doing something he's loving yeah. is just been incredible. And so thanks to Dick and Rick Hoyt and now thanks to Mike that he has given himself and his time. And it's just unbelievable. Yeah, that Hoyt legacy is unbelievable. Have you, have you noticed changes in Kyle as a result of this? Of leading up to the marathon and this accomplishment that's before Kyle and Michael? He's excited. Mm. Um, they do a lot of exciting things. So every time there's something new, he just lights right up and he gets a little anxious at times, but he, oh, he loves it. So wonderful. And Michael, really quick, we only have like 10 seconds, but what sure. is the name of your shop for people who want to yeah. know? Southbridge Tool and Manufacturing, but we build the Hoyt running chair. Okay. So we're online. Well, we are going to be rooting you guys on Marathon Monday. Michael D. Donato of Hoyt Running Chairs and Kyle Broder and his mom, Lisa, thank, thank you so you. much for joining us. Thank oh, thank you, you for having us. We appreciate